Timber. Look how cute he is. Look at how cute Mr. Finn is. Look at him. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna smash subscribe and bell. <laughs> hit, hit subscribe and comment down below. Yeah, YouTube. Sorry, sorry, Finn. Hi guys. I, we already did an intro, but then it wasn't actually recording. Not because I'm a bad YouTuber. No, that's why. Because I'm such a good YouTuber that um sometimes it overwhelms me. Okay, so you hit record twice and it double records. It. Yeah, so I hit it twice. I overcompensated and now we're here <laughs> suffering. I'm here with my friend Viking. And Finn. Hi, Finn. Yeah. There he is. There's the teddy bear, Finn. So, Viking and I are going to be describing movies to each other, but like very different movies, I think. We didn't really run them by each other, so I'm just gonna assume that they're pretty different. We have only have one movie in common that we like. Aladdin? Aladdin. That's it. <laughs> that was visually beautiful. Love that movie. We're gonna try to guess what the other one's talking about, and I wrote, I wrote stuff down, because I'm I wrote, oh, I wrote you them wrote down too. Okay, yeah. okay. I got 10 of my favorite movies up on here. I have eight. Oh, okay. But I can maybe improv, you know what I mean? We'll see. So, yeah, let's just get on into it. Also, I don't edit my videos, Turn the Page does. I've mentioned that before, but it was at the end, and I want you to know that. She's really good, and you should follow her. All right, Viking, you go first. Okay, number one, comedy. Okay. A group of old friends ditch their wives for a weekend in Vegas and win big. The Hangover? No, it's Ocean's Eleven. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, I've got one. A girl and a boy from two completely different worlds want to fight the chains society has put on them by following their new passion together. They have shitty friends who don't support them and a blonde girl who refuses to give up her spot. Is it High School Music? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Is that in your top 10 favorite movies? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, as far as movies that like have inspired okay, me. Okay, how would you <laughs> rank the High School Music? Well, I know like in terms of like, you know, budget, plot, all of that, <laughs> cinematography is maybe not the highest movie, but like in terms of things that have affected my life, it's yeah, top 10. Okay, I like High School Musical 2 a lot. High School Musical 2? Yeah. That's when Zach Efron gets hot. He doesn't um, sing in the first one, he sings in the second one, but not the first one. They Don't they use someone else? I think so. Yeah. Well, I think he get like, they dye his hair darker. He dye, well, he, I don't know, he gets hot in the second one. They were like, you weren't hot enough in the first one, we have to dye your hair. Yes. Imagine being like, <laughs> unattractive to the point that all you have to do is dye your hair and then you're hot. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That's not a terrible problem to have. Okay, give me one. Michael Keaton plays a masked vigilante fighting crime. I don't know actors. Batman. No, it's, it's Birdman. Oh. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> no. Okay, it won Best Wait, Picture. Wait, I've heard good things about that movie. It's, it's, it's very... Some like angsty, okay. artsy boy that I was talking to said it was really good at one point. Do you talk to a lot of angsty, artsy boys? No, it was high school. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got a good one. Ready? Okay. Teen girl runs away from home with a really hot guy who's only using her for money. But then they fall in love and it turns out her mom was a bitch anyway. <laughs> So she ran away from home with a guy. Yeah. So the guy only wanted her for her money. Yep. And the mom is actually a bitch the whole time. Yes. Does she end up with the guy at the end? She does. So she ends up with the guy that used her for money. Mm hmm Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. What? I don't know. I, I don't know what movie this is. It's Tangled. Oh my god. It's Disney, baby. <laughs> Wasn't that a good description? That was a good description. That was a good one. I felt good about that one. Me. Thank you so okay. much. Ryan Gosling falls in love in Los Angeles. Oh. No, I was about to say a Hollywood movie we just saw. There's a lot of music. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? No. Oh! Ah! La La Land! Nope, it's Drive. Are all of these like ones where you try to trick me into thinking it's something else? No, no, not all of them. Here's a good one, okay? This, was, this one's quick like yours. Okay. One guy is dumb, but the other guy is more dumb. Is it? Dumb and Dumber. Nope, it's Step Brothers. Oh my god, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. That's probably my top ten. Yeah. It's definitely like top three comedy. It's a little bit different than the High School Musical Tangled route we were going. Yeah, but, no, um, you threw me, you threw me for one there. Yep. Do you like Dumb and Dumber? I do. Yeah. I haven't watched it in the last four years, and I feel like every four years the movies I like drastically change. So I don't know. I think the movies stay the same. I think you change. I know. A talking baby tries to keep who he really is a secret. Boss baby. No, it's Baby Driver. What? He's not a talking baby. Is his name Baby? Yeah. Fuck. And he talks. He's like he's like twenty. You knew that I was gonna pick Boss Baby though, didn't no, you? No, I did not. I didn't know. I don't. I've never heard of that movie. That cartoon movie where a baby is secretly a, an adult. Is the baby attractive? What? What? Because the baby's an adult. <laughs> Cut that part out. <laughs> 
After countless hours of research I found out that my friend Viking did in fact know who the boss baby was and lied the entire time. Oh that hurt me. Okay, I'm gonna paint a picture for you. It's a gloomy setting. A foggy town. A family of brother and sisters who are sleeping together. So this is an incest movie? Could be. A family of brothers and sisters who are sleeping together? Yep. And it's a foggy town? Mm -hmm. Uh, Pretty in pink. It's Twilight. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the only Twilight movie I've seen is part one of the final two. Why? What do you mean? Why did you never see the original ones and why did you randomly see number three? Uh, I didn't see the original ones because I didn't have any interest. And then I saw number three because a uh, pretty girl up. asked if I wanted to go. No. Oh shit. That movie came out like ten years ago. Okay, so it's not your girlfriend, it's another no. pretty girl. <laughs> There's only one pretty girl in the world and it's my girlfriend. Aww. Um, alright, Viking. Okay. Your turn. There is a cabin. Cabin in the woods. Yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say there's a cabin in the woods. The movie is Cabin in the Woods. That's the only one I've gotten, and it was because you gave me the name of the cabin. <laughs> a bunch of friends from different backgrounds come together for a show of talent, but then they break up, but then this music starts playing in a traffic jam, and they make up because they're all singing together in matching workout gear. It's a classic. I haven't seen any of these movies. You've what? got to have seen. I'm giving you like movies that aired on TV. You didn't even have to go to the movies for them. I don't know. It's don't the know. Cheetah Girls. Oh my god. You've seen the Cheetah Girls. Yeah, when I was in, when I was nine. Okay, I'm sorry that nostalgia means nothing to you. The matching workout gear should have really, you know. You know what? Everyone in the early 2000s was wearing matching workout That's gear. That's fair. Okay. So That's a good. man and a rodent cross paths, and while the man is disgusted at first, they both grow to love and respect one another. A man in a what cross pass? A rodent. Ratatouille. No, it's uh, Caddyshack. Fuck! Have you seen Caddyshack? I don't know. Maybe a long time ago. This would ago. be way better if we had seen the movies that were there. I know, but the guesses that we're giving also fit, usually. The ones I'm giving fit, at least. You just said Prisoner of Azkaban out of nowhere Whoa, about Tangled. That's my go-to. Alright, there's this super crazy book, and it says all these insane things, like things you wouldn't believe, okay? And it destroys this high school. One girl ends up in a hospital, and the prom queen Tears her tiara to shreds. Mean girl. Yes! I got one. The Joker is up to no good in Gotham. It's not gonna be Batman, is it? Uh, 10 Things I Hate About You? That can't be right. I got my Heath Ledger movies mixed up, but it's fine. <laughs> I feel like that should be Batman. <laughs> 10 Things I Hate About You? Yeah, does that take place in Gotham? No. Yeah, because Gotham's in Shakespeare, right? Sure. Don't fact check it. Girl goes to Rome on a school vacation with her friend zone. Lizzie McGuire Moody. <laughs> yeah, let me finish. It was good. I knew that that would be too obvious. Fuck. Girl goes to Rome on a school vacation with her friend zoned perm headed friend <laughs> and, and meets a super hot musical star who turns out to be trash just like the rest of them. And her twin tells her that he lip syncs so she becomes a star. Um, does she end up with Gordo at the end of that movie? I think they kiss. Was there more episodes of the TV show after that movie? Are they like together? Do you want me to look Does up if Lizzie and Gordo end up together? Do Lizzie and Gordo end up together? It's the same plot as Zoe 101, where it's the cute blonde girl with a perm headed best friend who's friend zoned at the beginning. Yeah, but then we'll go to Rome. Okay, well, yeah. That's pretty. I guess that was a common, like, early mid 2000s. It's like the perm headed, curly headed friend. I feel like the got, movie might be the last she thing. She got no pussy. That's why I straightened my Why hair. did Lizzie McGuire and sequel movie and TV show scrapped? <gasps> Rachel McAdams falls in love with a time traveler. The time traveler's wife. No. Um, oh wait, the guy who got amnesia. What? When Rachel McAdams, the movie where she falls in love with the guy who got like amnesia. I don't know what movie that is. Okay, what's your movie? About time. Or Doctor Strange. And if you didn't say time traveler's wife, you would have said time traveler's wife. <laughs> my, my top three favorite movies are just Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams falling in love with a time traveler. That's really funny. Okay, I've got one. Southern best friend gets his spot as number one taken away when a mysterious alien man moves to town. All of a sudden, he finds himself being left in the corners, taking a back seat to the games he used to be number one for. Then the southern dude who wears boots and the alien man get lost in the wilderness and have to team up in order to get home again. In the sequel, the alien man meets his absent father for the first time. Can you read that one more time? <laughs> Southern best friend gets his spot as the number one friend, taken away by a mysterious alien man who just came to town. Then he and the alien man get stranded in the wilderness. The the, the best friend? Both the, the southern one and the alien guy. Okay. They both get stranded. 
Boots Boy and Moon Boots Boy. And then in the second movie, the alien man meets his absent father for the first time. Uh. You definitely know this one. You... Ice Age. Toy Story. What? Southern Man, you best what? friend, alien man, comes to town. He's second a... movie, Luke, I am your father. God damn it. <laughs> he's not an alien, though. Is Buzz Lightyear Buzz Light... an alien? He's a spaceman. He's a spaceman, but he's like an astronaut. Well, if I said... I think he's from Earth. Okay, here's the thing. If I had said spaceman, you would have known immediately. Yeah, but it would have been correct. Instead, he just lied. Okay, but there were enough other context clues that should have been really obvious. Okay, I got another one. A group of old friends ditched the wives for a weekend in Vegas and went big. Is that The Hangover? No, it's Ocean's 13. <laughs> My kid didn't get one right. I did get one! The Cabin, Cabin, Cabin in the Woods! She got Cabin in the Woods, she got one right. And wait, the Ra Rachel McAdams one, I didn't, I guess, one of the yeah, answers. Yeah, but that wasn't the answer. The you right had answer. four answers. <laughs> you didn't get the right one, though. There's a snake in my boots. That there's a snake. There's a snake in my boots. That's there's a snake in my boots. <laughs> One more time. Would a southern man do this? I don't know. Comment down below if you think that Woody's a southern man or if you think he's a a Midwest. He's a, he's man. a southwestern cowboy. Sa Southwest, yes, yeah, southern. Southwest and southern are different areas of the United States. All right, listen. I'm gonna give you that alien man was off, but I think that southern man was good. I think we're both just really bad at describing. Or guessing them. Maybe we need to get someone who like recently seen <laughs> all, these all of the movies. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for coming. Um, please follow Not Viking on Twitter. Not Viking on Instagram. I don't really care about that. Probably, you know, he's gonna make a YouTube. He's just, you know, if he just sucks sometimes and hasn't, he will because see how easy it is. It's so easy. It's very easy. Michaela has no clue what she's doing. I have no idea, but so much of it just gets cut out, and then you don't know that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm loyal, and I keep posting content, so that's good. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. is right up there. That's where it is. My handle's right up there. Watch my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. Someone told me that Logan Paul says smash that bell, so I'm not gonna say that anymore. Oh. <laughs> I like how he barked, but then he licked you. He's got crazy in his eyes. Finn says subscribe to Michaela's channel. Okay, bye. Bye.